Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a good trading day. Really great, some really, really good action today. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for finding us, tuning, uh, tuning in. Give us a couple of minutes of your day and we will try to provide you with uh, unbiased day-to-day -day, uh, market analysis. So, a couple of days ago, you know, I made a video and, you know, the video basically was, hey, look, you know, this market is beyond euphoric. Um, we've run out of superlatives. It reminds me of, two, you know, 2000, uh, 2000, 1999, 2000, but it's going to end one day. It is. It's going to end one day uh, before you know it. It's not going to tap you on the shoulder um, and, you know, just be very, very careful because, again, if you're just in the mindset of nothing's going to happen, well, something eventually is going to happen. Uh, the next couple of days, we saw uh, a lower high put in, and then we saw today, uh, you know, pretty steep decline for the majority of the day. Nice little squeeze back towards the end of the day, but nice little decline. By no means do I think this is the top, right? At least the, it does give us doesn't give us any really heavy duty signs that was the top. Nor am I trying to call the top or anything like that. I'm try not trying to pee, play fear monger. All I'm trying to do is just give you pretty good dose of reality. And if you notice a couple of days ago, we had two stocks that continuously started getting weaker and weaker. Uh, the first one was Google, right? First one was Google, lost the 50 day, continues to get lower. Uh, the second one in Apple, we've been kind of talking about this Apple range. If you've been watching the broadcast for, you know, for a while, you know, for a while, finally got below the range, got absolutely hit. Uh, apparently, uh, their iPhone uh, sales in China not going according to plan. The stock got really, really hit today. And obviously, uh, Apple took uh, a lot of the names with us. Um, Tesla, right? Tesla uh, turned into be an absolute incredible move. Absolutely incredible move. For all you guys uh, who took it with us yesterday, um, followed through today, just absolutely amazing. This thing is literally a stone throw is away, maybe a day or two away, three days away from testing uh, the bottom of this uh, February lows. And I'll be there for that. Um, the more important part is today was the first time that gave us another clue of, hey, potentially watch out for this. You know, if this thing happens, and I'll tell you what that is. Uh, if this happens, maybe more stocks are going to start to uh, come undone. And that was kind of a very, very big theme. So once you saw uh, the news come out, from Apple, obviously Apple is about 11% weight on the NASDAQ 100. Uh, it started taking down stocks with them, right? And today was the first time that I can remember, for the exception of the two, the three names we just talked about, you started seeing other names start losing previous day's channels, right? So for example, Meta lost the previous day's channel, okay? Stopped at the 20 day move, 10 day moving average. Uh, Amazon lost the previous day's channel. Um, what was the other one? Oh, Microsoft. Microsoft at Kilpay. Microsoft lost a week worth of channels. Here is where it gets, you know, super, potentially super aggressive. That's when you really have to pay attention to what the market's telling you. Once you start seeing the majority of names start losing multiple days worth of channels, that's where you're going to have a very, very big problem if you can identify what's going on or if you're a per bulls talking about buy the dip, bro, buy the dip. Yeah, it's going to work a lot in a bull market. It absolutely is. But when you start seeing multiple names start taking down bottom channels, that's where a, a problem uh, can absolutely occur. At the same time, you had Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, congratulations to all you uh, Bitcoin uh, shareholders. Uh, first time today. Uh, well, not the first time, but the stock, well, not stock, the coin uh, took out all-time highs, went up to like 69,000 and change, uh, retreated about 7% uh, from that level. But congratulations, absolutely congratulations. And, and the one thing I, I, I want to point out, certain people believe I'm anti-Bitcoin. I'm not. I, I just don't care about it. It's, it's just one of those things that it's out of sight, out of mind, right? 
I've never flown private. I've never sat courtside at a game, right? It doesn't mean that my life is, is, is less fulfilled. It's just one of those things I just don't care about. I think I have enough, I think I have enough going on with, with uh, the high tech mega cap stocks to, to really fill my time. So if you, if you know, congratulations, if you, if you made money on the, in these uh, coin bases and all this stuff, like just congratulations, but not everything is for everybody. So believe me, I'm not uh, anti-Bitcoin. I'm not anti-anything. I still care. This is one of those things that I have my own lane. Um, I trade what I, you know, I trade what I trade. How can I miss something if I don't care about it? Right? Think about it. So anyway, congratulations for all you guys uh, who've been riding this Bitcoin and other uh, Ethereums and all these other stocks, uh, all these other coins I just don't know the name of. Uh, but congratulations on that. So what do we need to see going into tomorrow? Well, here it is. Number one, we need to see, you see how the Qs held the 20-day moving average, right? The Qs held the 20-day moving average, which was very, very important. The line in the sand now becomes this 433 level. Right, guys? Everybody see it? This 433.50s. So that's going to be the line in the sand. That's going to be the area that if it does start taking down uh, that range, that means multiple stocks that we just kind of discussed and will discuss in the future will probably carbon copy the mirror image of the queue. So write this down, guys. Send an alert for yourself on whatever you know, whatever platform you have. Um, I use uh, eSignal uh, Legacy. Literally, Legacy is literally the... the I, I, um, I, I started my profile in 2001, so a long, long time. So just set an alert, right? I use set alerts all the time. Uh, set yourself an alert. So if the bulls start giving up this 433.65 level, that's going to be a very, very big problem. Um, I'm assuming tomorrow, just because how strong the market is, I'm assuming tomorrow the market might have some sort of dead cat bounce, right? Just again, just because number one, we tested and held successfully a major rising support. And two, we haven't had two consecutive you know, really horrific moves from technical damage since 2023. So I'm just kind of playing the cards, uh, but I am ready. And like I said, on the weekend video, I wasn't ready for the pullback of uh, you know the, the dot-com era. I wasn't ready, uh, fully understood with the, the, the ramifications of what happened uh, during the financial crisis. I'm ready, baby. I'm ready. And today uh, was absolutely great. Uh, Tesla, uh, we came in short Tesla. It took out every level yesterday, took out that 198 level, closed on the lows, the lowest formation. The damn thing went all the way down to 177. Guys, this is the bottom of the range here, okay? The bottom of the range here is in February. If you look at the weekly chart, and again, I'm not saying it's going to get there tomorrow, but if you look at the weekly view on Tesla, you can see how important those February lows are. In the next couple of days, you know, who knows? Maybe Tesla bounces tomorrow. But in the next couple of days, if Tesla starts losing the bottom of the weekly channel, it's going to go lower. We saw incredibly aggressive put buyers this week, uh, for today. We saw them coming for uh, the weekly 180s, 175s, 170s. We saw for next month, 165s, 160s. Hell, we even saw some for April for the 150s. So yeah, there's a lot of institutional money flow uh, coming in for Tesla. Phenomenal two-day move. Congratulations for all you guys who caught it. This was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal move. And now our next big entry is going to be uh, below those February lows. That's going to potentially confirm uh, the the you know, the week the the weekly chart of Tesla. The other the other names you have to watch for a potential or at least clues is Nvidia, right? Nvidia just is a just a rock star, just an absolute rock star, uh, completely in its own planet. Uh, again, huge call buyers came in again this morning. It actually went was down like 10, 15 points. Came all the way back green you know, again. As soon as this thing starts losing. The five-day moving average, that's when this will be a nice reversal in the name. And talk about a call of 2024 without guessing in Catalyst. A guy came out, okay, a guy came out roughly when the stock was, I would say when the stock was right around here, 1037. A guy bet 2.8 million. I put it out in my, my regular Twitter account. 2.8 million for the 1100 weeklies, okay? 2.8 million for the 1100 weeklies. And as the market looks like it's about to fall in, in, into the abyss, look at this move here into the close. Man, this guy for just again, to borrow the, you know, the, um, the, the term, 
the saying from billions from 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 dollar bill he was not uncertain just an incredible move so these two are obviously continuing to hold up the bull uh case on their shoulders but right now we definitely have a line in the sand drawn on the 20-day moving average on the queues uh we definitely have a lot of names that are starting to mirror that 20-day support on the queues we have tesla in the next couple of days that potentially could be massive if you think that for the last couple of days we're, we're, we're good this thing loses the weekly channel. Oh boy, it's going to be really, really good. The key is to, to let the market tell you what's going to happen next. Tomorrow, is it possible we have a dead cat bounce day? Yeah, and if, if we do have a dead cat bounce day, uh, IBM continues to hold up very strongly, had an inside day. NVIDIA, you know, okay, look, if they're going to rock this thing to 900, let's watch this thing above today's range for tomorrow. Sorry, this is a bad print. Um, you know, right? so there's going to be things to do. The key is... Just relax. Let the market speak to you. Get these setups. Don't anticipate. Don't guess. Don't fight with anybody on social media. Nobody knows anything. Price action is the key. Your opinion, my opinion, is like to meet somebody turning around to me and say, Dan, what do you think Tesla's going to be next week? I couldn't tell you what it's going to be tomorrow. Okay. But I do know the bottom of the channel and I know how important it is. So, guys, have a great night, everybody. Hope everybody does well. I'm going to cut this a little short. My daughter has her end of the year varsity basketball dinner. I will have to attend because my wife cannot. I get to be social, Dan. It's like putting a bull in a china shop. Not exactly the most delicate thing uh, for people who are about to uh, <laughs> embrace my presence. Guys, have an incredible night. God bless everybody. And I will see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care.